Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error with applications running in the virtualized environment of VMware or Oracle Box or basically pretty much most virtualization softwares today where if you're coming across an error that says sorry, this application cannot be run under a virtual machine. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the Start menu. Just off click on the Start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best man, should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select Run as Administrator. Again, this is within the virtual machine, if I didn't already make that clear. So you're going to use your account control prompt to select Yes. Okay, so once you're in the registry editor, if you do not make a snapshot of your virtual machine or perhaps you just want to make a backup through the Windows interface of the virtualized environment, you can just do File, Export, and then save it to a convenient location. Ever need to import it back in, just do File, Import. Make sure the export range was selected to all. And once you've made your backup, if you need to, you may not need to, since it is a virtual machine here, you probably already have some snapshots saved. But we're going to go expand the HK local machine folder to either double click on that or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Once you've done that, now you want to go do the same thing for the hardware folder. So double click or left click on a little arrow next to that to expand that one as well. Now there should be something in here that says description. Go ahead and double click on that or left click on a little arrow, doesn't matter. And now finally there should be a folder that says system. Go ahead and just left click on that folder one time. On the right side, there should be something that says System BIOS version. So make it a little wider here. You can see that right here. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and then select Modify. So in the value data field in here, you want to go delete whatever's listed in here. Type in No Box. And then do a space minus. 1, so just type the number 1 in here, so again, no box, and then space, minus 1, the minus and the 1 should be attached to each other, so as you can see here, so again, no box, all capital, and then space, minus 1, once you're done with that, go ahead and just left click on OK to save the change. And if there are any empty spaces in there, it's fine. Just click on OK. And we're going to go double click on it again. You can see that it did save the change, though. So please keep in mind, you will actually have to do this when you turn on your virtual machine or restart your virtual machine. But otherwise, it shouldn't be an issue when you're just browsing your computer. So if you just pause your virtual machine and then do whatever you need to do. As long as you don't restart the system, you won't actually have to do this again. But you can easily replicate this video. Just bookmark it or go take note of exactly the path that we're following in this tutorial and that should be about it so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye